Line is an exciting and new skating based competitive card game for everyone. In Line, players must lay down cards to make a combo of tricks. Which cards they can lay down depends on the obstacles on the course and the cards they've already placed. So, let's get you started. You'll need two to four people to play Line. We have two types of card decks the obstacle deck and the trick deck. To set the game up, place the obstacle deck to the left of the play space. Then, lay out nine obstacle cards like so. On the other side, place the trick deck. Number yourselves and give each player an identity card with that number. They're the numbered cards. Place a copy of the identity card above or below the obstacle deck. On the other side of the play space, place the other identity cards in order going down. We'll set up a game for two players, but additional identity cards will be placed for three to four player games. Now, let's start playing. At the start of each game, players will need two trick cards to hand. Draw some trick cards and lay them out next to the identity cards on that side like so. You will need to draw one more trick card than there are players that you have. So, for a two player game, you would draw three cards. Order the cards with the highest value card at the bottom and the lowest at the top. The value is the number in the corner of the card. Now, on the other side, turn over the first obstacle card. Player 1 will then choose one of the trick cards. In turn, they will replace that card with their numbered identity card. Player 2 will then choose and replace with their identity card. This determines the order in which players draw trick cards for the next round. The remaining trick card gets put in the discard pile. This is then repeated so each player has two trick cards to hand. Now we can start creating lines. To build lines and place trick cards, you need to pay careful attention to the obstacle deck. Obstacle cards and trick cards have connectors. They're the small coloured dots at the top and bottom of each card. There are three types. Red ground connectors, green air connectors and blue rail connectors. Your trick card you place must have at least one matching connector corresponding with the obstacle card. In this game, the obstacle card is a rail. It has one blue connector. So your trick card must have a blue connector on it for it to be placed. Player 1 has placed the dark slide, which has a blue connector on it. However, player 2's cards have no blue connectors on it. As no trick cards are playable, they must choose to play one, but face it down. Now reveal the next obstacle card. This time it's a flat. Pay attention to the connector on it. It has a red ground connector. The trick card the players choose to play will need a red connector in order to play it. However, they will also need this next trick card to connect to one of the previous trick card skateboards. As player 2 has their card face down, this doesn't apply, but in player 1's case, the previous card has a red skateboard half. The next card player 1 lays won't only need to have a red connector, but also have a red skateboard half in order to play it. At the moment, the players only have one trick card left to hand, so it's time to draw another card to give you more of an option of play choice. Drawing trick cards is exactly the same as before. Each player will always have two trick cards to hand before playing one of them. Always pay attention to current obstacle connectors and your previous trick card skateboards when drawing. Player 1 in this round has played a hill flip. It has a red ground connector, like the flat, but it also has a red skateboard that links it to their previous trick card's red skateboard. This means the card can be played. Player 2 has played a boneless trick card. This has a red ground connector. You will now reveal the next obstacle card, then draw another trick card each and play with your trick cards. This is repeated until 9 obstacle cards have been revealed and each player has laid down 9 trick cards. As previously mentioned, if none of the trick cards in the player's hand have a connected to the obstacle deck card or any of the previous trick card skateboards that they have played, then the player must choose one of their trick cards to play but face it down. In this example, player 1 has a trick card that would connect to both of their previous trick card skateboards, but the card has no connectors corresponding with a rail obstacle. They choose to play the mute air trick card and face it down. A playable trick card must always connect to at least one obstacle connector and one skateboard. When the third, sixth and ninth obstacle card is revealed and you have each drawn your trick card for that round, you have the option to swap one of your trick cards that have already been played before you play your next trick card in your line. This means you can swap a card that is face down in your trick card line with one that you have in your plan that is playable. You could also swap a face down card with a card that has already been played. You could swap two cards that are face up and have already been played if it gives you a better scoring combination. Just remember, trick cards must connect to the obstacle card and that there is at least one connecting skateboard either side of the trick card. You do not have to swap cards if you do not want to. 
but you can only swap cards in the third, sixth, and ninth round of play. In this example, the sixth obstacle card has been revealed and the trick cards drawn. Player one has not yet placed his sixth trick card yet. They choose to swap a face down card with one of the two cards in their hand. This card connects to the blue obstacle card connector and the two green skateboards either side. They now have the card that they swapped with it back in their hand. They can then continue to play the sixth round. Drawing trick cards is strategic and a huge part of the game. Depending on the trick card you choose depends on the order you get to draw next time. Do you choose to get a high scoring card but draw last next round or choose a low scoring card and get to draw first next round? In this example, player one chose the crooked grind whereas player two chose the crossbone. This means the order for drawing cards next round would be player two first and then player one. Each player will develop their own strategy. Once all players have placed their ninth and final trick card, it's time to total up each player's scores. Scoring happens via chains with connected skateboards. For this example, we'll look at player one's final score. Let's start with the red skateboards. Firstly, we have one red skateboard in a chain. It is over the dark slide and the heel flip trick cards. The total value of these cards added together is 5, 3 for the dark slide and 2 for the heel flip. Times that together by the one red skateboard is 5. Further along, we have a chain of two red skateboards over three trick cards, the Indie Grab, the 5-0 Grind and the Mute Air. The total value of these three trick cards is 2. Times that by the two red skateboards in the chain gives them 4 points. This means the total number of points scored from red skateboard chains is 9. Repeat this for the other two colours, the blue and the green. Player 1 scored 12 points from blue skateboard chains and 15 points from green skateboard chains. Add in those three totals together of 9, 12 and 15 gives the player a final score of 36. Once all the player scores have been totaled, the player with the highest score wins the game. We hope you enjoy Play In Line, the brand new skateboard game.